Bo Dallas and Neville have another fight, and this one is not on NXT. It's on the main roster. Uh, it's kind of a filler one. Um, Bo Dallas cut a, another motivational promo during his entrance. I still like the character, but he's just not putting any effort in the win anymore, so it's not doing much for me. And um, Surprisingly, he had quite a bit of offense in this match. I thought it was going to be a squash, but they kept it going for a little bit. Neville still ends up getting the win with the red arrow. Total filler match. Blah. Nothing special, nothing offensive. <laughs> Anything from your point of view, anybody? Well, I like the part where Neville did his spinning move in the air called the Red Arrow. That was pretty cool. But otherwise, I couldn't give a fuck about this match. It was pretty much a place uh, holder. It needed to buffer the card up, and it accomplished that. Uh, it was good psychology over the leg being hurt, but... Overall, there's nothing really to get invested in. Maybe Bo knows he's ugly, and that he's just losing motivation in his motivational promos. Maybe that's why he's sandbagging them. You never know. But the match, I, eh. It's I think filler. he's mad because New Day got over with his gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. He's still waiting for them to call Bo him into the group, because, come on, he's one of the guys, to be honest with you. But the match, eh. It, it, not much to it. It was a filler match. Uh, Neville hits that cool spinning move like uh, Wago said. And, yeah. Not much oh, to Red say. Arrow. My God. It's I mean, like one of the most over moves in the company right now. Yeah, but the Green Arrow is better. <laughs> uh, this was an exhibition match for Neville. It, uh, there's nothing to complain about it. I mean, these guys went out there and had a solid few minutes. Neville got to get his moves over some more. They're just still trying to warm the crowd up to Neville. I mean, this guy is still fairly new. He's not going to make as much of an impact as Kevin Owens. You can't expect everyone to debut like that. It's it's slow and steady. Again, this is a guy they don't have to worry about doing the undefeated gimmick, so he's already beyond that. He's he's going to have a good future, and it's fine. that it, At least he was on the show. You know, it's more you could say for, like, Zack Ryder. Oh, wait, no, he's on the pre-show. That isn't on the show. <laughs> um, yeah, the other one 76 thing I can... Neville's weren't a part of it, though. No. Oh. Uh, one thing I can say is that Bo Dallas has replaced Alberto Del Rio. Not as like the guy that I really hate, but the guy in the sense that every time I'm watching his matches now, I'm just waiting for him to shit his pants. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. No joke whatsoever. Somebody mentioned when we were watching this, they were like, Bo Dallas looks like a fucking baby wearing the white things and stuff. And I was just like, you know what I really wanted to see? And I brought up the whole fucking Del Rio thing. <laughs> It's so funny that you brought that up. It's like, if Bo Dallas can shit in his pants when he's wearing the white thing, then he'll accomplish more than Del Rio ever did. In my where's, his, mm -hmm. where's his Bo leave on his pants? Or on his, yeah, his pants with the, with the O? I always used to think that that was the... Uh, oh yeah, it doesn't say that up. anymore, does it? No. It's just but, standard white trunks now. Which but is no. weird. It was, always a, it was in the Walt Disney lettering and it was off-center. That was always so fucking weird. I always thought it was just like the uh, promotional uh, Simpsons donut that they always used to have. <laughs> so yeah, not too much to talk about in this match, but hey, it's filler. It's filler for Smack Talk too. But we're going to move on to part 10, Intercontinental Championship Elimination Chamber match, and then we're going to do the WWE World Heavyweight title match between Ambrose and Rollins, and then the Fantasy League, so stay tuned for parts 10, 11, and 12. We will be right back.